Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Staples. Going to review this here because actually doing this trade this afternoon. Honestly, I traded more afternoons this week than I have in a long time, and I really wasn't going to do anything else this afternoon, but I went back and looked at Staples, which was a follow-through continuation from the gap from two days ago, and, and it set up. And I did have conviction this would break here lower anyways. Wasn't sure if it would set up right today, but Staples has been setting up in the afternoon in the last few days. Now, it didn't set up right yesterday, but I did watch it yesterday actually as well. So the last three days I've been watching Staples late. Two of the last three days I've actually shorted Staples late as an afternoon play. I don't know exactly where this is done today, but Dream Target 16, real target I'm watching though is 1630. And, you know, Staples put me over the top, actually, on Wednesday afternoon. And Staples is going to end up making my day here on a Friday afternoon, which is hard to believe. Hold on, let me just look here. I just wanted to see something. Uh, anyways, let's go over the entry in this. So here's the 15 minute on Staples if you did it. Here is the five minute on Staples. Five minute on Staples is 72, tight stop at 80. Then the 15 minute here where you can do the add is 67. Again, same stop really should be where this pivot is here on the five minute over 80. You could have put it tight if you wanted to at 76. I didn't put it there, I actually did put it at 80. But the ad was 67 here. And whether you put the stop at 76 or 80, actually both have held. This was the confirmation then also you could have taken more on the five minute on staples. And it's had a nice move. Why? Because of the risk to reward in the entry and the stop. And again, here's the 15 minute. So even if you did the 15 minute here at 67, the stock has dropped 20 cents and the stop was basically 10 cents. So this is a two R trade. It's really strange how something at this small of a price point with this small of a move could actually pay decent uh, risk to reward for an afternoon trade, but it did. Why? Because every time Staples has broken this week, it's actually just kind of fallen and just drifted lower and just had hard selling action. And actually from the morning here, which again, I wouldn't have done this, why this was a gap up. You would have shorted a gap up if you'd shorted Staples today, but Staples is a short on the daily chart. But Again, you don't do anything here in the morning, but here is the late afternoon play that did set up correctly on the 5 and the 15 minute. And this is also on its own here regardless of the market. Again, dream target today is 16 in this. I don't necessarily think it gets there. It's getting into 2 o'clock reversal time. I'm going to be very, very tight with this now because really I think 16.30 is realistic. So I think I'm just going to be bar by bar in this here in the 1 minute chart. In fact, I'm not going to let this get over 50. So I'm actually not going to let this get over 50. Uh, but Staples is lower. Staples could even follow through on Monday. Staples could even gap down on Monday. I don't know where this closes today here on Friday, but I'm actually going to watch Staples again on Monday to see if it gaps down or if it falls again in the later time frame, late morning or early afternoon setup on Monday. Staples is still lower, and if it doesn't get to 16 today, this is still lower on Monday. And I'm going to be very tight with this stop now and put it over 16.50. I did twice this week put in the afternoon trades on social media for the Staples I did. Uh, I, I didn't have time to do it today, and I was trying to do too many things here around lunch today, get back to people. Uh, on emails and about things with the class and getting my trade. But this week was a week where the best short setups were actually here. Here, this goes from all staples, 1630. Uh, the best short setups actually happened later uh, this week. And I have no idea why, but that was just the case. So this is one of these ones where I'm grateful for Staples for setting up so cleanly on the later time frame and having good stops with risk to reward this week. It's a cheap stock. You could have loaded on, bulked up on the sizing and a nice short in this. And this is on the watch list every day as a continuation gap. So for people that played it on the day it gapped or followed through and were in the room, you could have watched this every day and you could have traded it on your own. So nice 
short here, late afternoon in Staples. We'll watch us again on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.